Hello everyone, and off here. Well, like I said in my last video, I'm um, I'm taking a break from shooting because it's uh, it's the breeding season. So um, while I've got a couple of months off, I thought I'd do some reviews on some stuff that I have paid for with my hard earned money that I either think is really good value for money, or I think it's a complete load of tosh and should be avoided like the plague. So like I said, everything I review, uh, I will have paid for by myself. So um, I don't get sent anything. I mean, if Mr. Virock, if you want to send me HW100, I will gladly review it. But we'll just start with these, because I'm, I remember these back in the 90s. I had a couple of boxes before the days of the internet, and you had to send off a check or a postal order. I think on Air Gunner magazine, I saw them advertised in. And um, they were great fun then, and uh, they're back on the market now. So uh, I use these all the time, so I thought I'd review these first, because they are my favourite air gun accessory. Uh, Torian marks or Tarian marks, however you want to pronounce it. So they're chalk targets, uh, 24 mil, which is um, a one inch roughly in old money. And as you can see there, look, they're uh, the size of a 10p piece. So uh, at 25 yards, that's uh, a nice target to be aiming for. Now um, they come in white. Uh, I've had this box for about a year. You, know, you get approximately 240 in a box. I haven't counted them. Um, but they come well packed, look, you get a, a little leaflet and uh, loads of sawdust, which uh, keeps the guinea pig happy when the box is empty and then all the all your marks are, are packed in there well, this box is nearly empty now, so um, you, put, you can get, the easiest way to get these is on eBay these days and uh, I noticed that they're um, doing fluorescent ones now so uh, I've, I've got a box of them and I must admit they're great, they're, you know, because I'm um, you can just hang these on the trees you don't you know keep a couple of paper clips in your pocket or just sharpen a little stick and hang them on that and uh, these fluorescent ones are much easier to see i mean the white ones are great but it's nice to have um you know they really stick out so um i've got a box of them now so um they're great and i also ordered a thing called zap shots uh, these are animal silhouette targets as you can see they come in a, a rabbit a feeding bird and a sitting bird now I presume these are um, designed for pistols because they're, they're a lot bigger. But I find that um, when I take my boys out, we go plinking. Uh, they're not as anal as me about hitting very small targets. They just want to blow things up. So these animal targets are great for them at 25 yards. You know, you hit them a big cloud of chalk dust. They're happy. But in the box, um, they also there was also some pink ones. So um, I, these must be samples. Whether these are in production yet, I don't know. But between them and the yellow ones and the white ones, um, it you, you know it's it's a nice little combination of colours. You, well, you almost have like a traffic light set up. I mean, it's all the same deal. They're packed in sawdust, and um, they're about eight pound a box on eBay. But um, and they're just nice to have in your pocket because you know it's like when you're walking around sometimes and you think your zero's off. Uh, it's nice to you know if you shoot one of these, hit it dead centre, it goes off with quite a crack. There's a big cloud of dust. So it gives you the confidence, you know, that your zero is on. But because they're only made of chalk, uh, you may think, well, how am I going to, you know, carry them around with, without them all just breaking up in my pocket? Well, I had a clever idea. Um, went down to Boots, look, and got some of these vitamin C tablets. And um, they're exactly, the, the tablets are exactly one inch, so you can fit about 30 in here. And um, the lid is like a, a spring thing. So, um, there you are, look, see, you can just, I think there's 30 in there. So when you put the lid on, it, it compresses the targets down, and then they don't make no noise. So you can carry that in your coat with a couple of paper clips, and then uh, just hang them on the branches, or just sharpen a little stick and hang them on that. And uh, well, quite often if I'm in a, you know, waiting for pigeons in a city tree, I'll just have a couple set up in the bushes around at various ranges, because I haven't got the patience, really, for, for doing hide work. So they just help, you know, break the monotony. So uh, what I think we'll do now is, it's, it's a beautiful day outside. Uh, my Air Arms S410 PCP is a way for tuning and hydro dipping at the minute. So um, I'm going to use the Viroc HW97K. So, and these little one-inch targets with a spring rifle are, are quite a challenge. So I'll go up to the field and we'll set the targets up. And uh, we'll see how I get on filming some of the. So, I'll see you up the field. 
Right, well we're up in the field now to uh, have a test on the Torian marks. I just thought I'd show you my uh, HW97K that uh, a very good friend of mine uh, did the stock for me with a pyrography set. So um, I'm going to have the, the marks set out at between 25 and 30 yards because uh, I'm zeroed at 25, this is 0.22 and um, I'm just going to be sitting on my little piece of mat there with the hedge behind me to lean on so we'll see how I get on but I'm quite confident because I've been shooting these for months and um, they're great fun so let's see how we get on eh Well, there you go. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. I certainly enjoyed making it. They are good fun, these targets. When you um, get a good hit and the, the big puff of chalk dust goes up, it's uh, very satisfying. So yeah, I've had a very pleasant hour out here, just setting up your targets and shooting them. So um, thanks for watching and um, I'll be doing some more reviews soon. Bye.